I'm Jason, the world is yours, and today we have a story about Pharrell Williams' next Adidas Hue. NMD is a completely different animal. Pharrell, Pharrell's take on the legendary NMD sneaker has come with a long way since 2015 when the NMD Hue was first introduced. The collection comprised of five ultra simple monotone um, pairs fast forward seven years and it's literally an entirely different animal unlike anything we've seen before the pharrell williams x adidas hue nmd animal print olive takes the german sportswear giant nomad silhouette to wild territories and his Featuring an um, olive prime knit construction, the sock-like fit perfectly wrapped around your foot for optimum uh, comfort. Leopard spots are peppered across the upper in a, in a metallic brown sheen. And this is complemented by the EVA caging sim system on the lateral and mid-dial sides. Underfoot, you'll find an olive boost midsole, which makes us think back to the days when Adidas didn't have the technology to paint the prebbled cushioning. Um, didn't have the technology to paint the pebbled cushioning technology yet, as if there wasn't crazy. That wasn't crazy looking enough. Um, skateboard P has painted in. Has painted in inside. What? Let me hold on. Let me, let me make sure I said that right. As if that wasn't crazy looking enough, Skateboard P has painted in inside, okay, of the NMD in a vibrant orange color scheme that will no doubt turn heads whenever you go. Coming in a special edition shoebox, which is always dope. Sneakerheads love shoeboxes. Um, the Pharrell Williams X Adidas Hue N. MD Animal Print Olive is set to release this November, oh, tomorrow, or two days from now, this November 3rd, um, 2022, two days from now, in med sizes. The price is $220. I have my opinions about that. It's better to drop at Adidas, the N, or maybe just the confirmed at, and select on online and in-store retailers. You definitely don't want to miss out. More colorways are expected to launch soon. I'm, you know, I'm a fan of this sneaker a lot, but I just think this sneaker is priced way too high, right? I feel like this sneaker should be priced. I know it's a very dope sneaker. I get it, yada, yada, yada. Um, but I just, I, I would say someone like Pharrell in partnership with Adidas, I wanted them to release sneakers that would be a little bit more available for, you know, the everyday, everyday customer. And I get it. These sneakers are dope. I, I do get it, but... $220 is on the extreme high end of sneakers, right? Like, you you have to really, really either love the brand or really, really want that sneaker or basically be a sneaker head to afford a pair of sneakers at a price point of $220. That's basically, that is basically the high point of, of just, you know, general releases. So, I'm a little bit disappointed about that. I do like this color scheme. I've seen... Um, another colorway that I, there's, this is, I believe the third colorway that I've seen from the Pharrell Williams, um, X Adidas Hue NMD animal print, um, colorways. I believe there's an orange animal print. That was the first colorway that I saw that I loved. And I was like, you know what? At 220, I would pay 220 for that, um, that pair. Cause I thought that pair was super dope. But then the second pair that, um, I don't know if it's out yet, but the second pair that I've seen was a blue pair, and I did not like the blue pair. I wouldn't even pay $100 for the blue pair. I got to be honest. I didn't like the blue pair at all. I don't remember what it was called. I, I don't know. I can't remember what was the name of it, but I know it was a blue pair, and I didn't really understand why was it called animal print if it's a blue, you know, I don't think there's a blue cheetah on the planet. But um, this olive, I like, you know what, I like it. I think it's a very cool colorway, right? It doesn't really give an animal print vibe. It gives me more of a just like a whole jungle print vibe, right? The browns and the um, the olive print, right? So it's not necessarily too 
animal printish, in my opinion. I think it's just more like a whole jungle. And then you see like the bright orange on the end. So I was like, I, li I like that a lot. But I would say my favorite pair as far as, as really, really staying true to the whole animal print idea was the orange print, right? The orange print is all orange. Um, it looks literally like a cheetah. You could literally look at the sneaker and say that those are definitely like um, animal print type of a, a colorway these it kind of looks like um what is it kisses right right if you look at it, it looks like limp lip um lip marks right like if someone put lipstick on and kissed the shoe a bunch of time right so i don't really get too heavy with the animal print idea on this sneaker i would have to pass as far as putting 220 dollars down for these sneakers i <clears throat> You know, I respect um, Pharrell Williams and Adidas for what they're doing here. I just, I would think that they would probably maybe look at releasing something a little bit cheaper, you know, around 150 It doesn't have to be this sneaker. I get it. You know, this is, you know, the NMD is a very highly sought after sneaker. But, I, you know, I just, I would think Pharrell Williams, when he would do a um, collaboration with um, Adidas, that he would look more for a general release that the average person, you know, would be able to buy it. You know, not 110, but you know, at least like 150 to like 175. You know, 175 should be on a high end for it. But you know, personally, I wouldn't put 220 dollars down for this um, colorway. Um, it is a dope colorway. I know people love the Adidas N. MD um, sneakers, they're, ext I mean, obviously you could look at the fabric and know that this is like a sock-like sneaker when you put it on. So it's extremely comfortable, durable, and wear, you know, you could wear these in all types, maybe not too many types of weather, probably not rain or snow, but in the summer or, you know, um, I would say in the fall time also, this is a beautiful fall color, right? The beautiful fall color. But I personally would have to pass on this release. Like I said, I don't love the price tag. And the um, olive doesn't give too much animal print vibes, in, in my opinion. Just like the blue didn't give um, animal print vibes at all. I think the orange um, colorway gave the most animal print vibes. And I, I, like I said, I would throw $220 down for those. But the last two pairs that I've seen for um, $220, the blue colorway and this olive colorway, I would definitely have to pass. Let me know your opinion on these sneakers. Am I crazy for passing on these, the Pharrell Williams uh, um, animal print olive colorway? Or do you agree with me that you would not put $220 down for this sneaker? Um, I am Jason. The world is yours. Today we were taking a look at a, um, a very, I would say it is a dope sneaker. I'm not trying to be down on the sneaker at all like in any way shape or form i'm pretty sure if you see them in person you would think it's dope i think it's a very dope colorway to drop in the fall autumn time but i just i wouldn't put 220 dollars down for these sneakers um i'm jason the world is yours and today we were taking a look at the pharrell williams next adidas three adidas animal print so far as um orange blue and now olive pharrell williams next adidas uh hue NMD is a completely different animal. Thank you for watching.